not gonna lie, this is long overdue. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video we are in a slightly different setup and that's because we're gonna go through my clothes today and thing across the clutter. Not gonna lie, it's pretty hard for me to tear apart with things so hopefully I'll do a good job. I just received these two parcels in the mail. One of them has to do with this video, which is this one here, and I'm gonna unbox it in just a sec. But I wanted to start with this Abercrombie one first. I never shopped there, and of course, I had no idea what my size was, but there was this dress on sale, which I really, really loved, and I decided to give it a go. Ideally, I wanted to get it in a mini because I'm quite short, but it was sold out on a mini, so I had to go for the regular, but yeah, let's just crack this open and see, shall we? Whoa, it looks quite big. I got this in a small. I think I should have gone for the extra small. The pattern itself is quite bold as well, but I love flowers and I thought it would be super cute for the summertime. I don't know, I need to try this on and see. Actually, let's do that real quick, shall we? Oh my god, I love this. Are you joking? This is so cute. Okay, so here's the dress. What do we think? Surprisingly, the small fits me like a glove. I'm holding it. I generally thought it was gonna be too big, but it's actually perfect. And the length is pretty good as well. Like I said, I got this in a regular, so I'm not sure how mini the mini was gonna be. But this is quite perfect. I like a short dress. I think this actually makes the cut perfectly. You can wear it this way, or you can actually have it off the shoulder as well. I think it's lovely. The quality is so good. And for the first time of me shopping at Abercrombie, Ab Abercrombie, Ab I can't even say that name, but I'm quite impressed. I really like it. I mean, you can see the length in the mirror. It's pretty good. I wanted to show you guys the dress from another angle as well. I think it looks stunning. And the details as well. Okay, so time to open this other bad boy up. There we go. Okay, so I got some bags, which are gonna help me with my clear out. They're pretty big. I came across Trift Plus on my Instagram and I thought it was a smart way to do a wardrobe clear out. They're not sponsoring this video whatsoever, but I thought it was a pretty cool concept. So they basically send you these huge yellow bag, you pack it, you post it to them. And they have a credit reward type of system. So you get credit by sending them a bag. And then I believe you also get credit for every item that they are able to sell from your bag. So yeah, I thought it was kind of cool and I wanted to give it a go. Also, side note, how cute are my shoes? I'm literally so obsessed with them. And they were only 50 bucks. I mean, bargain. So we are indeed under my bed right now. And so it's a very tight squeeze. I'm not gonna lie, and the lighting is not that good. But I'm gonna try to make this work. I feel like I'm showing you guys the progress that I made in my flat bits by bits. I mean, clearly you're getting to see this area now. You saw my bathroom in another video. Bits by bits, you probably get an idea of how my flat looks like, but let's get to work. Okay, so we need to tackle this bear. These clothes should not stay there and these should not be on the floor. Also, these two bins, they are full of stuff. I got my yellow bag right here and we're gonna start putting stuff inside. I mean, I did get rid of a lot of clothes when I moved in here. There are some pieces that I don't know what to do. I mean, I like this dress. It's a lovely color, but it's quite impractical. It's a long dress and I don't tend to wear long dresses when I go out, but I do wear them at work. Although the way this one is made is quite impractical to work in because it's off the shoulder and you move my arm a lot and so he would go all the way up and I think that's ugly and the tail is quite long. So realistically, I should get rid of it, but I still think it's a very pretty dress. Do you know what? We're gonna put things in a bag for now and then we're gonna evaluate what's in a bag. I think that's a move. 
This is a really pretty shirt. The only problem is I wore it to work and so now it has oil stain all over it. So probably should get rid of this one as well. I don't know guys, it was hard. So let's go through the rail. We got one from the rail, I'm not gonna lie, we'll probably get rid of more, but let's see. I will try everything on so I am allowed to change my mind, but I could you know i never wore this out and about i wore it only for a photo shoot and it was too tight around my waist as well so i had to literally leave it open so i don't think anything changed but yeah i think it's time to say bye it's a beautiful skirt i mean sure someone else will love it this is my absolute fave this one i haven't worn as much so i could carry that i think I mean, I feel like I want to get rid of some more, but it's hard when I have a camera pointing at me. So I'm gonna try to get rid of some more off camera, I think. The thing is, I'm very, very indecisive about stuff, and I do love all the bits in my wardrobe, so it's very hard for me to get rid of something. Although I know that I'm not wearing it, and it's not a smart decision to keep it, but... <sighs> I don't know, it's very hard. The eye. Okay, I think it's time to say goodbye to this one. It literally breaks my heart. It's one of the first things that I got from Primark when I moved here. Like, I remember going there and buying this outfit and I wore it on my first day of school. So, it is quite sentimental, but realistically, it's so, so tight on me. I can still wear it, but, like, you can tell that it looks small. So, bye! Okay, it turns out this was not too tight, but it's not really my style. It reminds me of a school uniform and I think we're done. So I was trying a bunch of skirts and stuff on and that's where it gets hard for me because when I see the skirt by itself, I'm like, actually that is not that cute, I could probably toss it. But then I try it with an outfit and I think it's kind of cute. It looks a bit big on me and also I'm not a fan. But then I decided to throw on an oversized t-shirt just to see how that looks like and I think it's kind of dope. So now I don't know what to do. So this next one I could generally only wore once but I really like it. I wore it back today and I'm like actually that is kind of sick. I mean even with my new Converse that looks kind of dope. I need to stop doing this. I try and dress, I think it's ugly, then I try to sell it and I think it's cute. So, see that's my problem with these decluttering videos. The pink boxes over there, these are the ones we need to tackle. Okay, so I had these other sweaters laying around and I do want to put those in my drawer. These four I'll for sure keep. These other two right here I need to see. That means we need to create some space. So it's the following day, I ended up finishing the clear out off camera yesterday because I'm not gonna lie, I was getting overwhelmed and I wanted to make sure that I actually thought it through but with that being said, I got a huge bag of things that I'm getting rid of and donating. I tried to calm them down and I think I got around like 30 items which that is pretty good. Considering also that I kind of clear out my wardrobe before moving into this flat and it's been less than two months of me living in this flat 
I'm gonna take that as a win. So the bag that you see in the back right there is actually my boyfriend bag. He also did a little clear out, but my one is just chilling over there. <sighs> oh my god, guys, this is so heavy. And it doesn't even fit in the frame. This is insane. I originally wanted to do a little all of things that I was going to get rid of, but I realized I was going to take a lot of time, so we're not doing that. I know this squad drop clear out probably wasn't the most satisfying thing ever, because you guys didn't really get to see me doing stuff, as I did most of it off camera, but I still hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I'm going to be sending this huge bag to Trift Plus, and then once it hits their warehouse, they're gonna give me a five pound credit for their website and also they're gonna go through every single thing that I've sent and the items that are considered valuable will end up on their website and they will give an estimate price but from what I've understood I'm able to change that and so if someone buys the stuff that I go read of I'll end up with part of that money which is actually kind of cool so yeah if you're interested in shopping my wardrobe once the Trift Plus account is up up and running I will for sure link it down below but yeah that's it for today's clear out I definitely still have bits that I could get rid of but sometimes it takes a bit of extra time to get rid of something and that's okay I also want to increment the one in one out type of rules so every single time i go and buy something i need to replace it with an existent item in my wardrobe and i feel like that will prevent me from buying things that i don't need but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and scan the qr code so that i can send these to thrift plus and other than that i'll see you guys in my next video be sure to tell me in the comments down below what video you would like to see next give this one a big thumbs up if you liked it and of course if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe bye the sun keeps going in and out and it's generally driving me crazy oh well take apart all the good things Stripped away what's there to do So many times I tried But I just